Make an antenna. I give you guys some ideas. Like I'm gonna cut it down to 108 inches, but it's not gonna be put in the solder today. But it will. And all you guys need to get something this big, about nine foot, almost nine foot long. The speaker wire is very nice. You get 12 gauge copper wire, uh, speaker wire. You get it to solder in this one. You take the same thing, measure the same length as that one there, and you connect this red one into the middle and solder it. This little piece, he didn't show you about this video, he showed you a little bit. You have to put a washer nut. You put the uh, you put the, the washer nut on the bottom, then you put the wire on top of the washer nut. That's what you do. So that's what he told you about that video because there's a guy called Rich Adventures. Adventure, I think it's Rich Adventures on YouTube. He only explained you a little bit that stuff, but not bad amounts of it, but I learned from his video. But this is a good idea. You guys can learn how to build a beam antenna out of this, which you have to get two 20 foot, um, two 10 foot pipes at Lowe's for like $5 each. It'll come to like $15, but I got a discounted coupon when I had a while back when I did very dicey and it will work that way. But what you do is solder this piece here. It's a 102 inch whip or you can start at 108 inches. I want to give that idea to YouTubes out there. People want to build and you can buy these screws at, um, Walmart's. Which I can show you guys where you get one. Let me pause this video and be right back in a second. Okay, this is where you actually get them at local Walmart areas. Make sure my shoe's out of the way. Pretty good. There we go. So, this is where you guys need to find these bolts and nuts. It'll come in a whole entire kit. Buy at your local Walmart. They have these. 128 piece set. And you can use it on this thing. But, what you gotta do with one of the holes, make sure you drill some little drills in it pretty small drill a uh, bit but just slide around the slides of it on the hole so you can wind it up for for the screws that will fit you just have to take that screw right here to fit it I'll show you in a second there we go yeah you gotta get that kind of bolt that size it's in there that comes with that whole entire kit you get if you do that then you splice the wire right here at the end that's what you gotta do, splice the wire at the end of this here, then stick it in there and solder it. Same thing with this one, you put the other one, this other wire, to do this one here, splice it and put it on that end like this guy in the video. But this guy can give you, gives you an idea to build a beam into. If you guys want to know how you can build a free element out of, um, for 102 inches for a CB band, we're looking at like sideband, channel 38, and the whole 9 yards even on AM. This should get you skipped going. But, it's actually going to be a beam antenna, which I'm getting the rotor antenna already right now, which I'm doing the cheapest way I can do. But this is actually 12 gauge speaker wire, which I can tell you in the link down below where you can buy it off eBay in case people in the world can't get what they want. It's actually a really good audio cable wire, but you can use 12 gauge, any type 12 gauge speaker wire will work. This is actually 12 gauge speaker wire. It will do everything it wants to do. That's actually 12 gauge, it's about 10 foot long. So I got this for like pretty cheap price. But at Walmart, they actually have different uh, 12 gauge wires I've seen. But any 12 gauge copper speaker wire will work. You can see the ends of this guy. Looks quite good. You usually take that off and splice it and put it in there. It should be able to work with speaker wire. So actually, my speaker thing in my backyard, I tried my walkie talkie. It actually will transmit on 18 gauge wire. Anything like 12 gauge or 18 gauge will work. But any speaker wire, as long as it's got copper in it, you're okay. But if it's 12 gauge speaker copper wire, it will do good. It will do pretty quite good. Let me see if I get a focus. Yeah. And I'll show you the label with this thing, but it's hard to see the label, but it's actually 12 gauge because I looked at it. Because it, but when you buy it, when you buy a whole 10 foot of wire, you'll get two splits of both ends. Then you have to split, um, pull them apart and you come with two of these things. And the total of these 10 foot will have at least total 20 foot on both sides. So it'll be like 10 foot on one side and 10 foot on one side. But if I put a total in nine to eight feet, it'll tell you total at least 18 feet on both sides in all. That's what I'm saying. Sorry about the video. 
But yeah, if you get a whole wire, I'll put the link down below where you get this um, speaker wire you can buy. You guys can start on that. Also, you guys need an S239 connector. I'm not going to solder this today. I'm going to give you guys an idea. You guys can work on this. But if you guys can tell me something, if you can give me an idea how to build a gamma match in the future or something like that, that'd be cool. But if you guys ever made a three element beam antenna for CB radio out of secret wire, let me know in the comments. But some guy on you on Facebook groups, I saw one of these CB groups, they told him that this guy built it out of broomsticks. He actually made a two element antenna out of broomsticks for CB band for um for on skip. Then he built like a four element type beam out of broomsticks. But if you guys have that an antenna analyzer you have, like the Nano VA, which I have one of them, this you can run your VA on um, Nano VA on it. But you got to make sure you get a fresh speaker, uh, fresh coax wire, like CB coax wire, like an RJ58 or longer. If it's 50 foot longer, the SWR should go lower. And then that's how you tune the, uh, trim the, the wires down to get the right tune for it. Like you learned from Motor Junkies videos where you did some of the other ones. But I've still got a dipole right here. This antenna is still going soon. Which I'm still waiting for this weather to get warm up soon. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how I'm going to get it up the tree. We'll probably we'll get it up sometime this week or next week. But this is the next project I'm going to be doing. And this will be the beam antenna. Which I can't get it. I will get it set up sooner or later on. When I first get the rotor I have to look at it. And I have the PVC pipe for it, which you get one of these. And I'll show you how, guys how long it is. These are the pipes you need to get at Lowe's for two of them. They're nine foot, uh, 10 foot long. They usually will fit in a minivan size or a truck. But these are the ones you want. There are three, four pipes you can go for. I was going to go thinner. But no matter. They're going to go on the rotor on it. On both sides. They're going to be vertical. Like that guy... Ridge Adventures on YouTube. I'll link his link down there. You guys can go see the video. I'll put the three videos down below in the description. Also, the way you put the thing in the pipe. Sorry about the video. The way you put this thing in the pipe, um, you run a string through it on the speaker wire. The speaker wire you see, you tape it up with lots of uh, frog tape. Then before you do that, uh, you tie it to a pole or something, like I did before. I done it with my dipole antenna when I did this, and what I did, um, I tie that to a pole in my back porch. Then I slip the copper wire on that, but the copper wire I already had on it. You can actually tape it up on the copper wire the way you do that before you do this. Um, you can do it either way, but you tape it on the string with the cop, um, same thing with the copper, 12 gauge copper, bare copper wire or the speaker wire you could do. Then you stretch it. Then, and what you do is, um, when you already got done soldering it and to the silver connector and the ground, you do that at the same time. You both tie it. Then you can do either way to do that. Then before you do that, you slip the pipe over the string with the speaker wire. Um, it, it's the way you do that. You just you guys can figure out. Motor Junkie has a video that shows how to do it. And before you do, uh, when you get it all trimmed the right way with the pipe length, the way the measure size, leave like an extra foot for your pipes. Like if you wanted 102 inches or 108, or just a few inches off for the pipe. Um, It'll give you enough room to do this. Then you put one of these caps on it on both sides. You don't have to glue these. This will keep the water on both out of both seals. Like this. It'll work. It's hard to do with one hand, but you'll figure out how you push it down. You put this in there. It'll fit really good. It'll keep it out. But before you do that, I forgot to ask you uh, to tell you guys to do that. Um, when you pull the string. You fill this whole thing up with foam spray, the um, like insulation foam spray, like you get at the store, like the great call great stuff, like more junk you use. You spray inside the whole tire pipe, even all the way to your end connector, because it'll take a while to flow it, 
then what you got to do it'll come up with a lot of liquid flowing then it, and just let it sit on the string for a couple hours then you have to trim it off with like a uh, with a blade or a knife so it'll, it'll foam out that's what I did the last time with my dipole when I made it 102 inches when I made it long and I had to did that and it took a couple, I mean, about a couple hours it'll start drying up then you have to peel it off it's like popcorn when they do this but yeah it actually will seal it up so I'm going to show you in another video in a minute the, the, the things I'm using I'm actually using these I actually have something that will work better you can do a lot of things like those that's how I'm going to slip the, the connector right in here like the guy that show on Ridge Adventures but his was a different type way I have but this little cap will go over it when you get done with the phone spray and the speaker wire inside it do it for both sides so the water does not get in these you can also pipe seal these or grill glue these you can find these at um, at Lowe's this is actually for three forps I think it is for three four pipes yeah there it is you can see it there it is got the focus that's the size of pipe you guys need to get and it'll actually fit on that okay I'm gonna give you an idea how this will work you get one of these pipes for three fourths. You put the pipes on both sides. Both sides. But before you do all that, when you put it over this, when you put it over like this, it'd be okay. But what you do before you do anything, before you do this, make sure you solder these components first. You solder the speaker wire in the middle, that gold thing there like goes down, and the one on the side where the nut is like I showed you where the nut is between the washer you guys got an idea of it let me show you yeah you put it uh put the speaker wire wrap around and just solder it just make sure it doesn't touch the metal you can do that either way and then what you do with this um once you get it all dried out and you put this in here you slip the both speakers on both uh, speaker wires on both sides of these tubes but you can do it upside down what I'm going to do is put it on a metal base, that's what I'll do. Then, you put this right here. And the way I do this, yeah, it doesn't have to move. I'm going to put this on a base. Because I have this blue base thing will work. You slip it on there. What I do with this, put a lot of JB, what you do is put JB Well all over these connectors. You seal this with JB Well on the back side of this, like I did this. JB Well will work. As long as you keep this level and put a lot of JB Well in it, it'll it'll harden this whole thing up. What I do is put something to hold it in there to do this. But it works. Because I've done it before. Not with a nut on it. Just make sure these things are level out. When you level this out, be okay. It's not gonna fall through. If you get JB Well on both these sides of the connectors to build this thing up with the JB Well, like a connect um put the glue around it then what you do with JB Well once it's all dried on the outside of it on the silver thing then throw grill glue make sure you don't get it on these connector threads you don't want any JB Well to get on that on the connector threads or that like that just make sure it stays on the silver thing you put the JB Well on first then throw the grill glue last when it dries it might take 24 hours to dry or a couple hours you can get the stuff that glues fast and heavy and then when you get done with this uh, before you do anything but what I do before I do that before I do anything um, don't put it in the pipe yet before you solder this when you get it all done soldering um, the best way to do this the best way you do it before you solder this, um, solder the connection first in this in the middle, the gold thing, and like I told you on the nut nut. The way I do it, before you put it in the pipe, just put grill glue in the middle of the silver, um, the round connection thing and the gold thing, so it does not get the water inside of it. It's like double seal. You can do that on the, the nut too if you want. Not on the back side of the bolt. That would be later. Then, what you do that, after they dried up, um, throw some JB Well on top of it if you want, or just either way, it'd be okay. 
So you don't have to put JBL, just put the clear glue stuff in it. Then you can put JBL on top of the connector. That will actually give you a little bit better insulation. So just in case something happens. Then you put this back on the pipe like I told you about. Right here. And make sure you do like I told you about like that. And it'll actually work this way. Then you put the JB well on the silver things and the side things like I told you. And that will definitely will work. Then you throw glue, grill glue on the last thing to do it. You got to build like a connecting seal with it. Then once you do that, um, before you do all that, but you don't do that right now. But what you got to do before that, when you solder the connections first, and when you do all that first, um, and seal the glue on it, like I told you, and the JB well, before you put it in back in the pipe, before you put it in the pipe, and when you do all that, I forgot to tell you about that. Um, make sure you get your radio out and adjust your, uh, uh, get your SWR tuned for both of the wires, like the guy on G Ridge um, Adventures on YouTube, and that's probably the best way to do that. Then, like, then you have to hold it with strings or just put it on a board or something like that. He does. Then, before you do all that, then you put the connector back in this pipe and um, do all the sealing, like I told you about, like I told you back uh, when I showed you. So, this is Foxman 362 World Radio. This is how you will build a 102 inch um, vertical antenna or beam antenna or dipole if you want. It's the same thing with speaker wire. You can do this with 12 gauge copper wire. You probably could do it with 18 gauge copper wire or 18 gauge, 18 gauge or 12 gauge speaker wire. You just need at least um, anything around nine feet or like that. Just get a 10 foot on speaker wire, um, 12 gauge speaker wire. Then you start on that, and you could do that with eight, the same thing with 18 gauge or either way. It should be able to work, and I'll give you the link down where the eBay seller you can buy this from. This kind of speaker wire, but you can find this at any local Walmart or hardware store. But, but the way I build this for cheap is probably, and especially I'll show you where you go get a, um, how I got those pipes for free. I only got half of the price for free, but all the stuff I got for free, even the speaker wire, and not the bolts and stuff like that, but even the connector I got for free. You can get these from China or anywhere in the United States. This is what you need, the S239 connector, and this will work. But also, now I'll put all the link down this below, um, below for the description. You'll be able to learn how to do that. And hope you guys have learned all this. Give me a rate and comment, and hope you guys do that. And I'll see you on the air sometime soon when I get a chance. Until things get a little better and stuff, but everything is quite good. This is Foxman 362 World Radio. Have a good day morning out there good afternoon or even out there and I hope you guys can get an idea you can use this for uh, for ideas you can build your future cb radio antennas for skip and if you guys got a nano va you can do some amazing results with it and you guys can do that this is an idea out there you guys can learn and you can expand it onto your horizons if you want to build like a three element beam four element out of speaker wire with this stuff or bare copper wire homemade if anybody knows how to build gamma matches out of it, let me know about that. And if you guys wanted to learn this idea, just like Mower Junkies videos and Ridge Adventures, I'll put the links down below where you guys learn the video of the ideas where I learned it from. And who knows? Maybe someone will come out with something like an 18 beam element antenna for talking to Skip. You don't know. Maybe some guy will come out with some really cool inventions out there. But I think it's better to build your homemade antenna. At least you know what's going on with it. So this is Foxman 362 World Radio. I'll see you guys in the air when I get a chance, but I'm still building up my shack. It's going to take a while, but everything's quite good. Catch you later.